All right, Grand Rising and welcome back to Shea Seeking. And this is not your mama's Bible study because we know that his story lies. So we tend to go ahead and tell hers, okay? Or reiterate. Mm -hmm. So there's some energy, like I'm thinking about this Reedy Creek or this Reed energy made me start thinking about Reed, the past, uh, the last name, okay? It was something else I wanted to put in that video. Hold on one second. All right. So again, yeah, I put a couple books up and I think I'm going to go ahead. I put them in private or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> um, but I think I might go ahead and make them public on my Facebook page, Shea Seeking. Okay. Um, not the group, but my, my actual page. Um, no, I'll put them in the group. I'm going to, I'll share them to the group. Okay. Um, about this energy of Shem, some things that I found, you know, I put little clips of things, little keywords. Like I said, I cast seeds. I don't have time to go into when I was going in too depth about the stuff. People didn't want to hear it. When my videos was an hour and two hour, an hour and 30 minutes long, they didn't want to hear it. They sit on the live for six, seven, eight hours with other people, but they didn't want to hear it. You know, they try to use that as an excuse to turn people away from my platform. Now they sitting there studying day and night. Okay. Acting like that ain't what they doing. All right. So again, we have here. You know, and if you are, why can't I know? Just let me know. It, it make me feel like I want to keep on going and doing what I'm doing. If nobody want, if I, if it's look like there's no support, they know that somebody going to give up. They usually would think that, but I don't because I'm not serving really people. I'm serving source for the people. I am the people. I'm serving the ancestors, those who came before me. And those who are here now. Most of it with no, it just take up me even being able to actually operate or even work. I can't do nothing. I, you know, I can't even really all the way, all the time, enjoy time with my children or, you know, keep up after myself around my house or enjoy other activities. And I'm not complaining about those things. I'm just saying people like to cast judgment. They don't know. Some people may be able to keep up. But again, with me, it's just not that way. I don't operate like that. I'm more of a creative, artistic, some type of mind here. A visionary, a director, someone that likes to, it's not that I like to, my mind is set up that way as a leader, okay? That actually walks with and doesn't mind that people know a little bit about me, but these people are totally invading my privacy and intruding. But I know it's because they just want to smear campaign or slander me, or these are actually the little thorns that's in the crown of Christ. Okay, so again, we're going to go ahead and look at this, uh, this term. So I was looking up live, right? Because I was thinking about live claims and live auctions and live something here. Okay, so again, it says to be, be alive, have life. Okay, because I felt like for a minute, people just want me to be dead or think I'm dead or kill me or something. Rather that be through paper genocide or something else here. I'm um, trying to, kill, you know, again, remove me out of my lineage, um, identity theft. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I feel like, this klepto energy, I've never had to worry about stuff missing from my house. And I have a lot of stuff and I know exactly where a lot of shit is, everything, right? So again, until this two years, I hadn't had, at least for the past year, I hadn't had no issues with things coming up missing out of my house, never. And it's little things. It's somebody that does very intricate things. I just had to go spend 150, well, I ended up getting a coupon, but on a, um, a paper cutter so I can finish making my journals here because a whole big old paper cutter is just missing from my house. It's almost like people, somebody has access and it's something going on that I don't know, but I guess it really ain't for me to be worried about that much because I'm still protected. Okay. So it must not be nothing that's got to be too much for me to worry about, but it's like somebody, you know, so I don't know if there's sleepwalker energy possession being done you know, with this energy that I'm here with, okay, that might be detached to me because, you know, for a while I felt like I, I felt at least a stench of, you know, a feminine energy hovering over because I, I think I can sense these succubus energies, okay? So I'm hearing like time to be alive or a slime. So again, and I was reading something earlier about this energy of this slime when it comes to, when it came to these uh, Indians or uh, you know, these children of Noah. Okay. Being that mitre, that, uh, 
material, what is it called? Um, like the grout or the something that puts something together here, okay? So it says to experience, okay? So a lot of people don't experience the thing that the empress and the emperor go through, okay? They don't experience the things that the holy ones go through. They don't experience, they have their own experience. They have their own journey. They have their own works. They have their own this, all right? But I feel like some of us are in service to the people. Sometimes the high caste is, 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 is actually the ones that are the servants and they didn't get their credit. So it says also supply oneself with food, okay? So again, it also this could be the energy, like I said, for some reason, I like to share the food. But, you know, again, it's, it's making me think self-taught energy here, okay? All right? You, you get it out the mud. You get it yourself, okay? P uh, procure a means of sustenance, past life in a specified fashion. Again, these are people that have been here already, okay? Like the Ruach, like wisdom, which is a woman in the Apocrypha, in the Book of Solomon. I think it's so the Song of Solomon or um, maybe Sol I, I can't remember exactly what it's called in there, okay? So again, to be, <clears throat> it also says to be left though, right? So there's no, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it, it's almost like you've been here before. You already know you don't have a problem being alone. You don't have a problem with being left behind. It's just when you see somebody coming back like Sekhmet and you feel like they're trying to deceive you or deceive the people, it's bothersome, all right? To live, to live on, on fire. So again, these may be immortals, okay? To burn, there's going to be some heat, Okay? Or people are going to burn or set them to fire or things like this. Now, I'm not saying physically, but I'm just saying they're going to be burnt. You know, people's fume, you know, their energy is going to fume against these people. And probably these people are going to do that too, okay? It says to stick, adhere, okay? To remain and continue, okay? <clears throat> okay, to make a residence and dwell, Express one's life, meaning express, express in one's life. But it also says live a lie. Hmm. And we know law means lie. So this is giving me also Moorish energy because there's always as above, so below, or there's always yin and yang. There's always the real energy. And then there's also the one that lies. Okay. Or lies beneath. I just heard lies beneath. What lies beneath, okay? Have life abundantly, okay? So this is something within that's going to be abundant, okay? Make full use of life's opportunities. So again, this is the energy here, okay? But it's almost like, a, you know, it's almost like a loner energy, but it's almost like this not, I don't think it's sin and it's supposed to be. It's just mean you don't have to be all up in everything and all whatever to be living. Live gaily or gally, gaily, gaily. Oh, well, this, okay. So you're not supposed to say that word in uh, Florida, I think, or something like that, or in their school system or something. Hmm. Or extravagantly. Hmm. But once we look at these terms and we see what they really mean, you see what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, it's almost like ice queen or ice princess or ice something here. Okay. Somebody and they feeling salty, cold hearted or something about a situation, probably an ice queen. Mm hmm. Energy, possibly. This could be somebody in the likeness of someone else, meaning they're dealing with somebody else's energy here. Live on high or cause. Okay. So again. I'm hearing it's a short life, but I feel like, you know, um, for those. So, again, this is almost like my guys telling me to chill, to pipe down a little bit. Right. But, you know, because I feel like this is the energy when they when they and that's what I'm saying about these drones that they're talking about here. It's almost like you're you're the queen of England. Right. And, and now Americans, you know, and, but you more you have even more rights to the land to, than some of these people because you've been anointed by something that's more higher power source. And that's why they really can't touch you. All they can do is hover over and watch you from a distance and tap into your phone and things like this. The moon had have access to my fucking information, period.
and Georgia. Possibly private information, po possibly access to these masculines as well. <clears throat> so it says, cause something to uh, disreputable disreputa to be forgotten by subsequent blameless course. Wow. To live with cohabit as husband and wife. Okay. Which is why I feel like it's totally legit. If somebody's legit and really genuine that's coming towards me, I don't see why they haven't showed up yet. So that's what make me think that this can't be real or legit or who, somebody's just trying to be the bait or the setup here, okay? Whoever this is, these people don't want me to have true love. They don't want me to find something. I'm here and I better find your love. I better find your heart, okay? But these people don't want to, and maybe even these masculines now being, um, you know, t taken in by these feminines some kind of way, okay? Because these women are the ones, you know, uh, some of these women, they, they act a certain way and they do a certain thing. But again, I'm, I'm hearing it got something to do with um the fact that some people, I, I'm hearing she swallowed it. That it's just really surface shit like that. That's some, you know what I'm saying? But again, it's some of this stuff that I think some of these masculines respect some of these feminines that they don't even really want that for them. So they hold them in high honor. But they go do other shit with all these other ones. And you'll be surprised which ones it is. All right. <laughs> mm. so again this is in turn where these women are more gifted these these things or whatever but again it can never be nothing that replaces the way these masculines will feel about that main one all right so again that's what i'm saying about that desirous energy everybody has good and bad evil the devil and god in them but i'm not willing to so i understand if you're being fruitful and multiplying <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Because again, first of all, if you're not giving me your all, you ain't going to get my all back. So I can deal with it. I can deal with being shortchanged for a minute. It, it ain't changing my position here. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Okay, we got a Knight of Cups in reverse here. Okay. And we have a, the strength card here, okay? And this strength card, this lion, is matter of fact, look, the Knight of Cups landed right here on the Knight of, I mean, on the page of swords. They both in reverse. We got the chariot upright, but we got strength card upright that landed right on top of the chariot. And this lion now is standing up in this alternative deck and roaring at this female here. Now, this could be a lion coming to roar at me, right? But this could be also a lion roaring at another one of these females that they're figuring out is a succubus or something. Or they could be mad that I'm calling out one of these females as a succubus because they think I'm trying to hate on them when I'm just letting you know that that ain't me. And I'm tired of them bringing these females around here and trying to resonate in my energy and run things over me. You get, they get, you see what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping if these females has got their own clan, their own tribe, their own thing, and they sharing it with them, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What can I do about that? All I can do is acknowledge that. Am I going to go in there and march down and find every woman that, you know, or every masculine or something that might be using or taking? No, no, because it don't it don't bother me unless I see you trying to be some kind of way towards me. Why are you slandering me while you trying to use my shit? Trying to level up or something, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, you're putting me in danger when you allow these females to get their head too damn big in my shit. An emperor treating his empress some kind of way is showing the world how they can operate with her. Leaving her vulnerable to outside attacks because she's discompartmentalized. All right. All of her essence and all of her glory is going out to feed the world, feed the. That's why she is the most powerful motherfucker in the deck. You ain't going to be able to tell me nothing different. She birthed the kings. They may end up in another womb, but the seed came from her. In some or many cases, if not all. When it comes to certain masculines, because they know the bloodline. Yeah, some that were formed, okay? So we got a queen of swords in re reverse here, okay? 
and this doesn't give me my energy. The fact that this landed right on this sun card, I mean, on this star card, is letting me know that somebody is hating on somebody that was coming at me with this sword energy is being put to rest. And because this death card is right next to it, right here, is letting me know that. But and it might be also on the aspect of the masculine or something, putting somebody in check or controlling somebody. Okay. But at the end of the day, this death card, like I said, the way it was, it means the government is going to now step in and allow these people to have some kind of power and authority to try to harm the empress or emperor or individuals in general, the people. OK, so we got this. Um, again, these are two. Even though the death card has a white horse on it, it still gives me um, a dark horse energy, a dark energy. It's kind of like, you know. Is something about is darker than my melanin, okay? So it's kind of like this this pale horse, but the melanin is, is still dark, okay? But then we got this dark horse, okay? Which I don't know what to think about it. That's my Apollyon Abaddon card, okay? And it's the uh, the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So we got a King of Wands in reverse here, okay? And I feel like this King of Wands may be the energy that's connected to these page energies that's being sent in, like this page of swords and this page of cups, okay? Which, I don't know, that's giving me two whole different energies, the page of swords and the page of cups, all right? Hmm. I heard message, okay? And then we got the hangman here with the chariot and the strength card. With this lion attacking this woman that's been whispering. And because, again, the strength card means very many different things to me. It actually has something to do with magic or manipulation or soothsaying. Okay? T trying to tame this beast. You know, the lion got his tongue. You know, on the original cards, he got his tongue all licking out. She's scratching his scalp and shit. Treating him all like a king. And, you know, all cooking and cleaning and everything like this. whole time she's putting shit in his food. <laughs> Sprinkling shit around the house. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Because we're dealing with Jezebel succubus energies. They know good and well what they did to get these men. And that's exactly how they're going to lose them. And that's why I didn't do that. These men came to me. These energies, these these feminists, everybody. I don't go searching for energies. I don't go sucking on energy. I don't do nothing. They, they came to me. And that's why they're going to always return. And it's not about me. It's bigger than me and us. It's about this that's going on here. It's about showing us how we messed up in the past so that we can correct that in the future on how we treat people, how we treat each other. Because I don't care about any lofty or um, or uh, uh, rich or any mask. If your energy is off, I don't give up. You could have a quadrillion fucking dollars and it ain't going to matter to me. It ain't nothing like the real thing. And I know who that is. And I'll be waiting. But I just feel like this energy might be in danger. Or something that already just happened to this energy within the past month or so. The past four months to the past month. And people just sitting back here knowing that the Empress should be aware of this. But instead of that, what they doing? Greed. They could be. And again, this is past, present, or future. Because again, this could happen in past lifetimes. Whatever again. They sit in there, don't say nothing. We're going to divvy up the spoils. Filthy. That's what people are. So we got the page of swords right here, okay? Now, it was coming in reverse, and I put it upright, okay? I'm going to leave it in reverse, okay? Because I feel like this is the energy of Jake, the Moorish energy, and the Native American energy hating on this star card. Because it fell right on top of this star card. All right? And it's covering up her her bottom and her... The only thing now is exposed is her breast. Okay? This page... Okay? So it's almost like something is covered. Like, I don't know if this got something to do with the southern border. Okay? Because I think they're trying to upset me with, with saying that the border is wide open. Okay? Okay? But I feel like this, although this native energy, I, this is making me think about native um, in, in ancient Egyptian or ancient um, uh, ancestors. This, this, the clean split between the ancients, the autochthonists, and, and the natives, okay? Excuse me. Like those first nations that would be mixed with those particular people. This is what this card represents to me with the ancestors and the Black Hawk energy. So it's like... 
possibly since since this page of swords, the bottom part is on her her bottom and just exposing her breast. This lets me know that these are the people of the soil that's protecting my border. So whether they want to say it or not, it's some people, it's some ancestors here that's going to protect my border. Okay? They want to send foul, filthy energy in to your, your area, into your sleep. Okay? Like I said, the succubus hump boo hag energy. All right? Y'all, the boo hag energy is really heavy, like I said, in the Cairo lines. Okay? And I feel like the these these Blackhawks that's here that was attacking this person that was coming with this sword now, they may be leaning more on the side of this queen of swords, but they both in reverse right here, right? It's almost like ancestors is here and they fighting against each other on another motherfucking level now because of what these people trying to do. And the ones that's covering this up, that's going to protect this border is the ones that found it when it was, a, that got it out the mud. The bird, the black hawks now here is representing, like I said, the native energy. The native energy might be in reverse because they may have been you. It's almost like Ham and Japheth working against Shem. Because this star card sitting here looking at me with this star right here and the breast being exposed. It's one of my favorite autochthonous Indian pictures of this woman with her, um, uh, that I used to put, uh, uh, I, she don't have a name or anything that I've shared plenty of times on my platforms here with the plumed, uh, crown. Okay. That's what this star card is giving me. Okay. And she got her, her, um, her bow or whatever across her, um, across her back. Okay. And her features look a lot like mine. Okay. Um, but actually her features look like a couple of these other feminines too. Okay. So again, um, this, this card right here, like I said, in reverse is giving me split energy between the ancestors. Okay. And I feel like the natives are more with this energy of the Moorish Islamic Jake energy, because they're going to use their treaties and their laws and their things that they put in place to try to overrule Aboriginal law or old world OG energy. Okay. Not to mention that these people might even be in being, being influenced um, by um, 5G and other energy here, water supply, things like this, the same things they would use back in the day. Yeah, I feel like this is what this is talking about. They're, they're, they're just at odds because they're realizing who the, the goat is or who the goats are. Or who the father, the father, the son, and Holy Spirit. Because again, at one point in time, these people came together just to maybe observe Maybe even to come in, dip their wands, okay, in that sacred pool, okay? And they thought they'd be done, but instead of elevating this energy, they want to keep it down so that they can continue to run up through the border in the sleep realm, in the dream realm, or in another realm, or in another dimension. So they, again, they want to try to hide. Now, there's, there is some of these energies that want to try to hide my energy because they don't want nobody to, to, to mess with me. But there's some that's saying that, but really they just want to have all access anytime. And I don't know why it's seeming like some kind of fair thing, okay? A trade-off of, of, or something here for something. So I feel like this is what, even if somebody is aware or not about betrayal, it's like there's no good, none of them is good no more, motherfucker. It's almost like you know what it is. You know what the fuck it is. And that's what it is. I put that post up, you know, if a man was, um, and I feel like it's because of, I feel like it's because of spell work and that's it. Call me what you want, say what you want, the tarot community or everybody going to have to say what they say. I know what it is because you don't have that connection with this masculine. That's why you don't know what it feel like. Hmm. All right, we got a knight of swords in reverse too, okay? And we got temperance in the reverse because whatever these clowns is trying to do is being exposed. Now we got the emperor up here and he's salty. He's standing with his lips all twisted up with his, he's standing up off the throne now. Got his hands all folded up, his lips all twisted. And then we got the tower. Okay. And then we got the king of cups looking ashamed with his cup spilling over and his head down in the palm of his hands. And then we got the magician here. Okay. And the page of wands. All right. I feel like this page of wands is, is some new energy they trying to fin up, uh, send up in here. But unless something verified by me, it ain't going to stick. 
It might just be another energy that's coming in here to try to take some sprouts off the top of whatever's going on here. All right. So let's go back into this energy. We got to go back up in here. This is going to be a long video, I think. All right. We got to go back up into the word real quick because this, this was telling me something. Hold on one second. <laughs> 